I am um, Stacy Ferguson. I am the administrator of Mon Health Center for Outpatient Surgery. It's a small four OR ASC in Morgantown, West Virginia. We opened up in, well, we started building in 2015. We opened and put stuff in in 2016 and did our first surgery in 2017. We had chosen and decided to use HST many months prior to opening the building and um, mm -hmm. or even completing the building. So we went ahead and purchased the product, started building it from an offsite little office space. And um, that, that helped us out tremendously. That is probably one of our best choices that we made was starting early, getting that going about six months ahead of time, tweaking out our inventory and, and all of our scheduling um, blocks and things like that that uh, just make the system run seamlessly for you once you get up and running. Mm -hmm. The docs don't like to slow down once the first day starts. It doesn't slow down for you to say, oh, hey, I've got to build this system. So we had our system entirely built before before doing our first surgery. Well, this is a joint venture, so it is 49% physician ownership and 51% hospital ownership with Mon Health, um, Mon Healthcare System. So this is different for me. My last ASC was just a physician owned. This one is the joint venture. It's really kind of neat because we do have the hospital resources at our fingertips that are very helpful. Um, lots of experiences, lots of different things that they bring to the table for us. We're using darn near everyone they have. Um, we started with the practice management. Like I said, we started that early long before we ever even finished our building. Uh, then we migrated into charts a couple of months after opening. So our first couple of months of charts were paper. We scanned them all in. HST practice management does have a nice document storage area. So we didn't have to purchase anything separately to do that. But then we started building our, our patient care charts. And that was a great process. We flew out to uh, Tennessee. We learned how to build the charts and came home and we built charts that are just so user friendly that I have a hundred percent compliance rate with all of my doctors, with my anesthesia team, the CRNAs and the anesthesiologists all use it. So there's nobody in our facility not using it and playing on paper. So that has been, I think the HST e-chart is probably one of the best, most user friendly, most compliant system that I've ever used. There are two new and we're just getting started on those. One is the profit forecast, which I'm real, real excited about because right now that's a process that takes about three or four people to figure out all these details that I'll be able to click a button for. It's going to, that's just going to be so much more efficient. Um, the second one is uh, case coordination and patient engagement. So I think the, the first pain point, I, I, my last facility had a different system. The charts and the practice management did not communicate. So we would pull from charts, especially in the inventory area, we would pull from the chart system and then manually input all the supplies used and all of this to develop any kind of case costing into the practice management side. When I heard that this one communicated, that's why I just asked, actually why I decided to do this because the inventory part is so crucial not necessarily when you're small, not necessarily when you're one or two room OR and, and you've got a lot of downtime, but as you grow and you get busier, you do not have the time to pull all this, put this and be, and be correct with it. You're not, it's not right when you do it that way. I, and it's never going to be a hundred percent, even with the systems together, because we always have our human error. You know, the nurse put in three band-aids instead of two or whatever, but the, um, the variance is not huge when we're doing this electronically and it automatically just pulls right in there. I can watch these cases from practice management, know what time they went in the OR, guesstimate about what time they're going to be coming out of the OR, which I could never do with other systems. So that was my, that was my, that was my driving force there. Well, this was their very first surgical center. So I came in there older, more experienced. Um, and they were just, if that's what you think we should have, that's what we will have. So it went really well and easy. And the cost points were, actually, I believe, I'm trying to go back to memory. I feel like we were a little, we were, 
your pricing was a little under the um, competitors. So I feel like we were able to say, well, see, see it cheaper. It's better and it's cheaper. So I feel like we got to say that at the time and they were just, they were just enamored that we had any idea what we were doing, building a facility anyway. So it, it has definitely helped us get volume. It was, it's more difficult for the physicians that work for us to schedule in other facilities. They, we have a very streamlined process. It's very easy, three pieces of paper, your procedure's on. We know you've got a spot to put, what implants you need. We know what your preferences are and everything is right there. So even when I bring new people in, they can read your preferences, get to know you a little bit before they work with you the very first time. Um, so I do think that it has enabled us to bring in more business, have our physicians happier because we are on top of these things um, and able to know them and what they want, what they need to be prepared. When I, when I first started in days, this stuff is so fragmented. Everything's so fragmented. Now you need an HL7 that does this and you need this kind of connector that does this or it doesn't connect and you need a person in between. And each one of those are points of failure. Um, when you have the bundled solution and you have one system doing everything, you, you no longer have this fragmented process. It's more efficient, it's more accurate, uh, and when there are problems, it's all your problem, not mine. I don't have to call 12 different people. Oh, that's why, because there was an update to the server that did some, tweak this HL7. It takes, you know, three weeks to get it fixed because nobody knows what exactly happened or where it happened in this interface, and you guys know the whole system, so anytime there's a failure, it's an hour, you know. Oh, yeah, this happened. So boom, you take it down, you fix it, you put it back and it's a one-stop shop. So it's more efficient, easier to use and way easier to manage and repair. They're very happy with their charting part of it. They get to click a couple clicks, you know, make very few charting decisions and it's done. Uh, so they don't like using the bigger systems like the Cerner's and Epic's and Meditech's, those are very complex systems. This is very streamlined for an ASC that doesn't need all of the other fancy stuff and it doesn't get in the way. So yes, it was definitely improved the patient, the physician experience, the patient experience. Our nurses aren't tied to the computer. They're not, they don't have your back, their back to you when they're checking you in. Um, we have very simplistic charts, very specific charts and very efficient charts. Um, so that we're not taking away from our patient experience either. But we've always had a great experience with customer service. Nobody ever delays getting back to us. Oh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I've called on like Sunday when you guys are closed. Hey, I'm having problems. And I didn't expect anybody to like get back with me because I knew you weren't open. I was just trying to be the first in queue and they got back with me on Sunday and had it fixed before cases started on Monday. So I've had really, even after hours, I've had really great support. So thank you for that. Absolutely, we do all the time. 